Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back. It was a great few days off, got some sun, got to unwind and relax away from everything, and it was much needed. So thank you for allowing me to do that. However, I came back with some catching up to do with the preseason content and everything that is going on. And after coming back to this game today, I realized something about the store and the FC24 endgame grind. EA kind of played themselves because content this good with unlimited 84 tens, 85 tens, and all the other packs that we have, is it actually hurting them? I want to talk about that today and catch up on everything related to preseason. If you're excited for the videos to be back, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now, I'm not going to go over everything that I missed in the last week or so of being gone. I do want to highlight a few things, especially related to the whole point of this preseason promo, which kind of went down. Pretty much exactly as we thought it would. There were a couple surprises in here, but first of all, I'm going to go to the webpage because this is what explains it the best. This is EA's webpage showing us all of the FC24 things that we can do to get packs in FC25. Of course, getting to level 30 is probably the biggest one because that gets you the biggest pack in 84 times 5 in FC25 if you get to level 30 and get the Ronaldinho that is there. Now, that kind of keeps us grinding for a little bit of gameplay. I see why EA did that for sure, but they've already dropped a decent amount of XP, and as you can see, I'm well behind. But I think, especially in the next 25 days as we get to the end of the season, we all should be able to get there. I don't think they're going to make it super duper hard, but that is kind of an underlying grind of this season is getting to level 30. Now, also, one of the objectives that they dropped is called Compete Complete for the Club Objective 1. This gives you an 80 times 10. Off the bat, an 80 times 10 and an 84 times 5 for... Um, crossover rewards into the next game is pretty crazy like last year we had an 82 times 10 and that was by far the best reward so these packs are high quality and some of the best ever to be honest and also the quantity of them you have an 80 times 10 you have an 84 times 5 so we got to get this objective done here we have an 82 times 10 that is not dropped yet um, that is going to be dropping probably i would guess this next friday with the next week or maybe even two fridays from now sometime during preseason we'll get a complete complete for the objective two that'll be released we also have a crafting objective right now which we love that but i'll be completely honest i don't know how much i really want to do a crafting objective with the unlimited 84 times tens that are out and the 85 tens that refresh every single day you've got plenty of those to do right well we've got this crafting objective that we need to get done for an 82 times five in mc25 which is also a really good pack too so that is worth doing you have to do a hundred of them and i don't know if i missed something or if ea is time gating us on this but on on the SBC itself, which we'll get into SBCs here in a little bit, but I went in here and I noticed that it's only 75 times repeatable. I'm guessing that in five days, as the timer shows, it's going to refresh with like 25 or 75 more uh, instances of what we can complete it. That was a little confusing to me, so you can't get it done right away. They're kind of time gating that a little bit, making you want to grind, unless I've missed something. That's how it seems to me. But we have to get 100 completions to get that objective done, and then you get an 85-10 in FC24, but that 82-5 in FC25 is big. And there's also going to be an evolution, which we have not seen yet. Complete the road to FC25 evolution, which gives you an 81-7 player's pack. So quantity and quality of these preseason reward packs is honestly pretty good like the 84 5 and the 82 times 10 are really killer but the 82 5 81 7 and the 80 10 are really really solid too now of course with the packs being better kind of as we expected and as ea confirmed in this article these rewards are not going to be available day one right that's always the hope that's how they used to do it but the packs weren't as good we'll get these rewards on october 10th so what is that maybe like three weeks into the game still worth grinding for 100 percent because they've upped the quality of the packs and 84 5 like 84 fives when did we have those for the first time last year in fc24 like i don't even know maybe November like were there packs that good in the store during Black Friday type of thing that's a that's a really good pack to get for doing an objective for free in this game right now to start off the new year of 25 so I don't know how much that interests all of you guys but that interests me a lot because especially now getting really close to 25 it is 
really important to get that grind in if you're going to be playing the next year's game and getting in some of that. I know we're all doing the packs and the footies and all the packing of preseason, which is really fun too, but there's actually a lot of grind to go on in the gameplay section as well. Probably a lot of it done in squad battles for the most part, if possible, to make it the easiest, uh, but also, you know, doing it in arrivals and stuff and champs, trying out all these new players that you're packing isn't a terrible shot as well. Now, evolution content over the past couple of days hasn't looked that great. The brand new nine, the shooting specialist has been, been released. None of these really interest me too much. Um, sounds like the SBC content is just king, and that's what it feels like in this game in the moment too. So maybe it's a emotional player or a passion player for you that have a squad that you're building that fits in Evo. That's great, but I feel like for most, it's the SBCs that keep us cooking. Now, I wanna highlight a few player SBCs that have come out over the last week. Yesterday's player SBC, Rivaldo. Of course, we got to talk about Pele, but this Rivaldo is nice because I was just thinking, has, has EA released this Rivaldo back into packs? I can't remember him being in a re-release. Maybe he has, but this SBC is only a million coins, I believe, or 1.2 million coins, which is virtually free, of course. Five-star, five-star. He's got the stats. This is a great card and really expensive card when he came out in the first team of great to the game icons. 15 squads, of course. We, we label it as free because the 84 times 10. And uh, his price up until, let's see, daily oh no this is the sbc his price was really expensive up until like the last week he was even 2.2 million coins just last weekend and even 2.2 until friday um so yeah 1.2 mil for the SBC. This card, great. If you want Rivaldo, go ahead and do him. It's another SBC to be throwing your fodder into. I love that because I don't think he was ever re-released in packs. And if he was, then I completely missed it. Now, of course, the big boy SBC that EA dropped on Friday was Pele. I love this. All right. It's kind of like EA just said, you know what? It's, it's late enough now in the year that we're just going to full send all the content. And they give us a 99 Pele footies icon SBC. I haven't used Pele all year. This SBC really interests me. That's kind of how I'm looking at it for a lot of the SBCs that I want to craft. I haven't used Cruyff all year. Would love to craft this one. Pele, haven't used him. Raul, I think I used him a little bit, but not super interested in him. Lam, definitely interested in. I have not done an SBC yet. I'm behind. I want to get him done. Eusebio, want to get him done as well. I already started on him. I know he's kind of like behind the curve almost now. I'm sure other people are using players over him like Cruyff like Pele, um, Rivaldo even, but that Pele is just sick. That's an awesome SBC for EA to release. Feels like truly end game content. They're giving, giving us the 99s. I mean, this card was 15 million coins just a couple weeks ago, and now he's an SBC. So we absolutely love that. I will say though, I will say, man, with the number of people that are tweeting me Pele's on Twitter slash X, and screenshots from him being in the best of re-release. Of course, take a look at his graph. The bro was 5 million coins on Friday, and now he's a mil. He's in packs. He's getting packed a lot. I wonder if it has to do a little bit with his price range. He's near the bottom of his price range. And I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, sometimes that seems to come into the pack weight calculations, shall we say. But I would say... Rip those daily 85 tens and 84 times tens before maybe like starting on the Pele because I've had so many people tweet me over the past few days that's saying, yo, Nate, just started crafting Pele. I'm 13 squads done and then boom, you know, you got the Pele in a pack and you're like, well, what do I do? I just wasted 13 squads of fodder. So I'm probably not going to start Pele right away. I'm going to try to pack him at first, but we'll have to see. Now, speaking of other SBCs, as we continue on this trend that EA kind of turned up with in the past week, of course, preseason is all about the transferred players as well. We had the 99 Julian Alvarez. There's probably more of these to come. I mean, we had Rivaldo and Pele as well. I think we get another one of these transferred player SBCs today. They'll probably try to sprinkle these in as they are sprinkling in the greats of the game icons. We already mentioned Cruyff, right? Now, we're still looking for guys like Zidane. We're still looking for Hullet. We're still looking for maybe a Vieira. And of course, R9. That's the big ticket one. So we're still looking for those and the transferred player SBCs to be sprinkled in there. And then the crafting upgrade, as I mentioned, I wanted to point this out too. It might be the most irrelevant crafting upgrade of all time because the only usefulness for this is to get the objective done. So we're going to do it, right? But also to give you 80s and 80, 80 to 84 rateds that will be helpful to do the 84 times 10s without having to turn in 75 rateds and stuff in your club. I know some people are doing 84 times 10s with silvers from their club because it's just like you want to keep ripping those because those are great packs. And I totally get it. But, you know, 
get a duplicate, throw it into an exchange. Don't quick sell everything. Like over the past few days, I've done a few SPCs here and there, you know, just, you know, sneak in the companion. I'm just, just here and there. But uh, I have built up some exchanges on some of the quick sales so that I'm not just, you know, throwing everything away. You can refresh and recycle some of that fodder and get you some comments to do the uh, crafting upgrade and stuff. So you're good to go there. And that's probably the biggest help for that crafting is not the packs and what you pack from it, but just the fodder that it gives you. And of course, progress towards the FC 25 objective. Now I mentioned the word irrelevant. This is the point of today's video that I want to bring up. I tweeted about it just a couple of hours ago because I logged onto the game. I saw all of your guys' tweets of who you were packing and let's open an E4 times 10 for fun. Let's see. We get somebody big here. It's an icon. It is a, Oh, Brazilian? Oh, don't do me like this. Okay, yeah, Gabriel Jesus. That's what I thought. Uh, oh, and it said not even a great to the game. Anyways, um, everybody's doing these packs. Ooh, that was that was decent. Everybody's doing these packs, and it's an unlimited grind with all these cards. I'm gonna quick sell this one just so I can open another one. But you know what's really irrelevant right now? With the end game content flowing as free as it is via SBCs, have you noticed that store packs are so relevant? 650k pack even with millions of coins right now i don't feel interested in opening one of these packs that you know think back to the last few months in this game the store packs were what we went to during team of the season during path to glory during great to the game we went to these packs because it gave us the guaranteed player items and the best chance of packing something insane with the footies cards re-released in packs if you need fodder do the 85 tens if you want to pack a footies card do the 85 times tens and the 84 times tens if you want a 99 rated footies player, do the 84, 85 times 10s, or do a 99 rated player SPC like Pele, like Julian Alvarez, or, you know, Croy for the other cards that they're releasing. You know, it's like, there's really no reason to open store packs right now. And is that kind of, is that actually going to hurt EA? Like, that was what I was thinking. It's the end game. Is this going to actually hurt EA a little bit? But to be honest... You know, even though store packs don't seem worth it at all to a lot of us, because the only thing that store packs offer that the 8410 and the 8510 don't is a few select footies, like footies from Team 4 and Team 5 would literally be the only ones. Like you're talking Drogba, Sawa, Sun, Salah, Lucio, Conte, which are some pretty big name players. But let's be honest. Those guys are going to come into packs. EA said on that little release number thing that popped up an 8510 with nine dupes. I'm not quick selling that one. That's five exchanges right there. Um, EA said they're going to refresh and kind of put in some more footies players during the re-release. It says team one, so there's going to be a team two at the moment. So that's the only thing that store packs would really give you a chance at is some of these players right here. So that's not worth the coins in my opinion. Just wait a week and, and those guys might be in packs and then you have a chance to pack them anyway and you're going to pack them from the 84 and 85 times 10s, which by then 85 10s might be unlimited repeatable. And then you're set. It's going to be super easy. So does this really hurt EA is really my question. Like, did EA play themselves by going this end game level of content, putting all of these good cards in packs? Because let's be honest, this is a better batch re-release than what I thought it was going to be. I think I said last week that I was only expecting a few footies players to be put in. I wasn't expecting 98s to 99s. And EA, they dropped a banger with this pre-release team uh, with Pele, Ronaldo, Puteas, the still the 99s, and the greats of the games being in the team. Like, again, there's a lot of people opening packs for how good the re-release is. And I did open a few. This is, if you've seen Twitter at all, you've understood that the companion I block is real. Over the last couple of days, an 85 times 10, you know, just a couple here, there, like I mentioned, on the companion, 99 Messi, not only him have I packed, but also 99 Ronaldo. So that means of all the re-releases during footies and preseason, I packed the team of the Ronaldo, I got the uh, PTG Ronaldo, which I thought was going to be my best version, and now I have this one, who's, he's still 5 million coins, which is bonkers. Um, I think the PTG has better playstyle pluses, but this one's got better stats, so I'm going to have to use him, and he's 99 rated. But then we have Messi as well. Like, <laughs> I got two of the 99s that I really, really wanted. I got really lucky with that Ronaldo. Messi, I've seen so many people pack. Ronaldo, I haven't seen as many. So now I guess we chase Neymar. We chase, I really want Chun Min's son, but I have to wait till he's in packs. So I've had good luck with the SBC pack grind that is SBC specific, which everybody's doing right now, right? So again, it's just like store packs, yeah, they're really irrelevant. And EA kind of are hopefully, I wouldn't say hopefully losing money, but it's just like, how can EA be making as much money right now with, yes, all the crazy stuff in packs, but with the unlimited SBC stuff that is out at the moment, 
Like, is it really hurting them? I mean, there's probably still people opening a bunch of store packs, but this is like... The SBC content that we have right now is what we look for during the endgame and look for during footies every single year. But also, it takes away the allure of the store packs. That was the thing that was sitting with me yesterday. I was like, I don't want to spend my millions on store packs. It's crazy because the SBC content is so good, which is always the opposite. We're always looking at the stores like, wow, you could pack insane stuff here. EA always makes that store content, the upper echelon, best chance at X, Y, and Z. And then SBC is just like... B tier, C tier. Well, right now it's like SBCs are better than the store for 100%. So this is the worst time ever to spend coins in the store or to spend real money 100%. So don't do any of that, obviously. But I just wanted to point that out because I thought that was really interesting. Now, let's get away from what happened and talk about what could be happening today on Sunday. We'll go through a con little bit of content overview, guys, because on Sundays we get icon player picks, but the 93 plus icon pick that was released last Sunday, may I add, at that weird content drop time of like 9 a.m. UK, 4 a.m. Eastern, this was released and it's not refreshing today. It's still unlimited repeatable for the next week. So it's not going away. I don't know what would replace it today. The only thing that I could guess that would maybe replace it today would be a footies specific icon or hero player pick and that would give you chances that people like lucio beckham you know team four you've got the sawa the drug as i mentioned the capita and then that would still give you a chase for some of the other you know maybe best or cantana i mean they're in packs at the moment so it doesn't really do you too good to do that but really it would be a team four or team five footies icon or hero that you could potentially get out of that with still some of the big name players uh, that are icons or heroes like maybe jarzinho ribery if you haven't got them yet so I don't know how hyped that would be if they were to drop it. So I'm not really sure what Icon SBC or Hero SBC would come today. That's my only guess is a footies related one specifically. Since we still have the great to the game or footies 93 plus that is here. Now, again, mentioning that content drop time, because you take a look at my counter right here for the 85 times 10. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get all these 85 tens done, I don't think, because it refreshes in four hours and I'm about to go to sleep. I don't know what's up with this early content drop time. I don't know if I'm a fan of it, to be honest, because I think these refresh every day at the early content drop time. The 93 plus came out early, but the player SBCs are still dropping every day at content normal 6 p.m. UK, 1 p.m. Eastern, whatever time zone it is for you. You know, it's normal time. That's really weird. I don't like having the two different things to take a look at or check. And maybe you guys are used to it because it's been happening now for a couple days since I've been gone or whatever. Let me know in the comments what you think about that because I just like it being one time all there at once. It's easier to keep track of. It's easier for the expectation and to build up the hype in my opinion. And I think it helps a lot of people who can't be on the game 24 seven as well because you know, you check content one time a day to see what's out and then you're like, okay, I can go on with my life and then play the game later when I get on, when I have more time or whatever it is. But if you have to constantly be like, you know, ooh, content could drop now, ooh, content could drop now, then it's like overwhelming, I think. So that's my thought on that. I hope they stick with the one content time. I know we have rewards times that change and they're, those are all throughout the week. That's fine, but... The content drop time being the same time that it's been, I like that. I like that regularity. So we'll see if that changes during FC25. But that's just one of my thoughts at the moment that I had to mention after seeing that a lot. And maybe something's going to release today at 4 a.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. UK. We'll see. Now, other stuff that could be dropping today, kind of already mentioned it, but a player SBC, a transfer player or a great to the game icon or a footies icon. Could be any of those. Or, or a hero, I guess it could be as well. Um, I have to imagine they sprinkle in some player species since they've kind of gone back to back with the Pelé and they've gone with the Rivaldo. Again, we had the Julian Alvarez, but there's probably another transfer SBC player coming. I know everybody's thinking, Nate, 99 Mbappe, are they going to do it? Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to do a 99 Mbappe, guys. Let's be honest. We've had this 98 Mbappe for a while now. It's been tanking because he's been in the re-releases for weeks and a lot of people have packed him. EA are not going to mess up the opportunity or mess the opportunity to release a 99 Mbappe in a Madrid dynamic because he's played for Madrid now with five star, five star, maybe change a play style plus or two, give him 99 shooting, 99 pace that he already has, 99 dribble and boost up the passing and physical just a little bit, but also require like 30 freaking squads. They're not going to pass up that opportunity, guys. I think they're going to do it. The question is when I would guess probably it's a Friday type SBC, right? Like, so maybe this Friday, I wouldn't expect it today. You know, this Friday or next Friday as we get into September, that would be the timing for a 99 Mbappe, but it's 
it's more of an if rather than, sorry, it's more of a when rather than an if, if we get that type of SBC. So that's what I'm expecting for today's content. I mean, the content every day is still the same. 8410, 8510, chase the cards you want to chase and just rip packs because when else are packs going to look like this? That was a pretty mid 8510, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So that's kind of the grind at the moment. There's a whole lot of FC25 news. I, I, honestly, guys, being away for six days has really got me excited for FC25 as well. The restart, the refresh. We have some ratings that have been posted. Messi's rating was just posted a bit ago. I tweeted about that. Um, he got cooked. Wow. It's like Ronaldo last year in 23 to 24. That he got cooked like Messi got cooked this year. It's unfortunate. But um, I want to look through all of the ratings. I did not even realize how big of a yap the FC IQ deep dive was. This is a whole novel, guys. Like, this is a crazy amount of information on tactics, which I do want to look into because there are some probably pretty interesting things in here that will help us, especially understanding some of the FC IQ stuff and different roles and all that jazz. But it has a lot to go through. But I really want to look at some of the ratings. We'll probably do that tomorrow in a separate video. That's probably going to be how the videos roll for the next I would say a week or maybe week and a half, two weeks. We'll do FC24 preseason footies content stuff when it's up. Um, we'll be doing that on stream, of course. But then we got to start implementing the FC25 stuff because it is coming as it's coming really fast, man. It's going to be here before we know it. And we're going to be looking at gold cards and ratings and starter squads and all the new stuff that's going to be added to the game. There's definitely going to be pitch notes like the launch update. I think that's going to be like... I don't know, when was it last year? The first or second week of September? That's a really, really big thing for Ultimate Team, getting us started on the new game and getting a lot of info for that. So all I'm saying is we're going to sprinkle in the FC25 content as we get closer and closer to that as well because, man, it's I'm getting hyped for the game, to be completely honest. Yes, this game is fun at the moment because packs are endless and fun and crazy, but the restart, the refresh, a new game, a new year is very exciting, man, and I'm ready for it because it is almost September, and that's crazy but it's almost here. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. A little bit of a yap sesh. The videos might be a little bit shorter between now and the start of everything ramping up for 25, just because it's the end game. And yeah, we don't have time to yap because there's not as many things to yap about. Get on, open your packs, rip 85 10s, pack the 99s, craft the SBCs, get your objectives done for FC 25 stuff and, and move on. You know what I'm saying? It's the summertime. It's chill. So that's going to be the video. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's great to be back. Can't wait to be on stream. Don't know if it's going to be today. Can't promise that, but Monday for sure. And we're back with videos every single day. Also check the TikTok, the second YouTube channel. We're going to go hard into FC 25 with a lot of that info because there's a whole lot that's been released, but not a lot that's been like talked about and, and discussed and time to dive into some of that as well. So again, guys, I will see you very soon. Thanks for being here. Have a great Sunday. It's been Nathan for Count. I'll catch you later. Peace.